ya neema ametupigania vita ametufanya kuwa wake hatua baada ya nyingine amesimama nasi mahali ambapo adui alisema hatuwezi Mungu wetu akasema ya kwamba tunaweza mahali ambapo hatukujua tufanye nini Bwana wa mabwana akaja na akatengeneza jia na kwa sababu amefanya mambo ambayo hatungeweza kujifanyia sisi pekee ameweza kutufanyia mambo ambazo hakuna rafiki angeweza kutufanyia katika maombi yetu tumemuona akitujibu katika kulipa gharama hajatuacha tumemuona akitutenda haki hakuna mungu kama yeye na kwa hivyo anastahili we are going to dedicate this one hour in praising and thanking our god we just look back in the name of jesus christ we praise him we thank him kwa sababu ya mambo yote ambayo ameyatenda na hata yale ambayo tunatarajia kwamba atatutendea kwa hivyo tutafanya mambo haya hata kwa imani tukiamini ya kwamba atatufanyia mambo ya ajabu na ya kipekee na kama vile ambavyo tunafahamu tuko na wiki ambao tuko na kongamano kuanzia siku ya kesho kwa hivyo we must dedicate this day uh, in praising our god and thanking him hata tukimtazamia ya kwamba ataweza kuwa pamoja nasi kwa hivyo na wakaribisha sana wale ambao tuko hapa wale ambao tuko pale mtandaoni facebook live pale youtube uh, mungu wetu awabariki sana siku ya leo tutaweza kuwa pale youtube kwa hivyo you can join us live in uh, youtube as we continue being blessed together as we lift our god as we honor him as we praise him as we thank him because he's worthy of our service this day in jesus name our father and our lord how we honor you holy spirit of the living god you are our helper you inspire our praises you inspire our thanks giving unto the lord how we surrender our mind we surrender our hearts unto you jo kaweza kuchukua nafasi yako adhuhuli ya leo bila msaada wako hatuwezi kutoa ibada ambazo ni la kukubalika mbele za bwana tutamani utusaidie hili saa limezidi masaa mengi mahali popote pale lakini tukiwa na wewe in this one hour itaweza kuwa ya faida itaweza kuwa ya kulidhisha moyo wa Bwana tusaidie roho mtakatifu wa Mungu tuongoze tuinulie kila uchovu tuinulie kila uzito ili ya kwamba tukaweza kutoa ibada ambazo ni za kulidhisha in the mighty name of Jesus as we approach the throne of mercy mahali ambapo tunapata neema in thanksgiving and in praise Tutamani ya kwamba ukachukua nafasi yako. Tutamani ya kwamba ukaweza kututembelea dhuhuli ya leo. Roho Mtakatifu wa Mungu jo utawale. Jo uchukue nafasi yako. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes you are faithful. Wacha mtu akamwambia Roho Mtakatifu wa Mungu, ninakupa moyo wangu. Ninakupa mawazo yangu unisaidie. Wacha mtoto akamwambia roho wa Bwana ninajua ya kwamba hii ni ibada speciali na hii ni siku ya kipekee hii ni wiki ya ajabu kwangu chukua nafasi yako kwa maana wewe ni mwema ninakupatia nafasi yako moyoni mwangu mawazo ni mwangu touch my body touch my soul and touch my spirit touch my heart because you are great let your glory as powerful with this place for you are good and awesome yes the holy spirit of the living god have your way oh have your way for you are great have your way for you are awesome spirit of the living god Yes, you are worthy. Have your way, have your way. Oh, we are
Uone jinsi ambavyo Mungu amekuwa mwema kwako. Jinsi ambavyo Mungu amesimama nawe. Uone jinsi ambavyo Bwana amekupigania. Na hata ukaona jinsi ambavyo Bwana ametenda mambo yaliyo makubwa. Nani mwingine kama Mungu wetu? Neotekete wega gaiwa. Umetutenda wema Bwana. Bwana, tazama katika familia yako amekutenda wema. Tuone kama kanisa ametutenda mema. Tuone kama huduma ametutenda mema Bwana. Anastahili kutambuliwa Bwana. Yesu my God umetutenda wema na ni kama wewe Bwana Yesu Yesu na na sifa kwa Yesu my God Yesu mana mamla na sifoke shande
tulisema tukianza ya kwamba siku ya leo itakuwa ni siku ya kumpa Bwana ibada za mioyo yetu a, katika kumsifu na katika kumshukuru kwa sababu ya wiki ambayo tunaanza siku ya leo na kwa sababu ya vile ambavyo tunamtarajia na pia kwa sababu ya yale mambo ambayo ameyafanya wiki jana tulikuwa hapa na hata wiki hii Mungu wetu ametupa nafasi so we must dedicate this one hour to praising and thanking him so welcome so much hata wale ambao wanaendelea kutu uh, join pale facebook na youtube live uh, Mungu wetu wabariki sana as we come together in the name of Jesus Christ uh, the book of psalm chapter number 6 uh, 96 uh, from verses number 1 hiyo ndio itaweza kutuongoza as we continue in the next few minutes itasoma kwa Kiswahili inasema ya kwamba mwimbieni Bwana wimbo mpya mwimbieni Bwana nchi yote sasa hapa ukae ukiambia moyo wako moyo wangu mwimbie Bwana moyo mpya mwimbie Bwana katika nchi yote mwimbie Bwana nibarikini jina lake we are going to bless the name of the Lord tangazeni wokovu wake siku kwa siku na katika siku hii and in this hour tutatangaza wokovu wa Bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo verse 4 inasema kwa kuwa Bwana ni mkuu mwenye kusifiwa sana Mungu wetu ni mkuu mwenye kusifiwa sana Aa. na wako kuhofiwa kuliko miungu yote ama ni wakusifiwa kuliko miungu yote Mungu wetu hawezi kulinganishwa na miungu mingine anastahili kusifiwa kuliko miungu mingine kwa hakika miungu mingine inasifiwa na wale ambao wanaiabudu wale ambao wanainamia lakini Mungu wetu ndiwe wa kweli ambaye hawezi kutoshanishwa ambaye hawezi kiwango chake hakuna miungu ambayo inaweza kuufikia Uh, verse 5 inaendelea kusema ya kwamba maana miungu yote ya watu si kitu hmm? gaigeshiore ili ya madhara ya jatikedo lakini bwana ndiye aliyezifanya bingu mungu peke yake ndiye ambaye amezifanya bingu vyote vinavyoonekana na visivyoonekana vyote ambavyo tunazifahamu na zingine hatuzijui yeye peke yake ndiye ambaye aliziumba na amezifanya zikawa heshima na adhama ziko mbele zake yeye amejivika heshima amejivika nguvu amejivika adhamu amejivika majesty and power he deserves all the glory he deserves our praises he deserves to be glorified as the only lord above all lords inaendelea kusema kwamba nguvu na uzuri zimo katika patakatifu pake Ukitazama uzuri wake Bwana, ukitangaza wema wake Bwana, ukitanga ukitazama utukufu wake Bwana, unajua na unafahamu kwa moyo wako ya kwamba huyu ni Mungu anastahili kusifiwa. Verse number 6 inasema ya kwamba uh, verse 7 inasema ya kwamba mpeni Bwana eni jamaa za watu, mpeni Bwana utukufu na nguvu. Zote hatuzitaki. Tutasimama mbele zake hata sasa kuendelea tumwambie hatuzitaki kamwe utukufu wako hatuutaki heshima zako hatuzitaki uweza wako hatuutaki maana zote zina wewe hekima nguvu utajili ukuu wote ni wako bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo mpeni bwana utukufu wa jina lake give him glory that is due his name na kwa sababu Mungu wetu si mara moja tumesikia kwamba gaida hana ado vile ambavyo watu wao wanajisifu watu wanasema ya kwamba kama vile ambavyo Nebukadnezar akasimama akasema ya kwamba tazama vile ambavyo mambo ambayo ambao nimeyafanya na tunaona vile ambavyo matokeo ilikuwa Mungu wetu hawezi kuwa kama wanadamu jinsi ambavyo wanajisifu jinsi ambavyo wanajipa utukufu Mungu wetu itatupasa tusimame na tumtazame na tumwambie kwamba Mungu wetu unastahili utukufu huu. Haututaki wewe ambaye umeyatenda mambo haya. 
wewe ambao utatenda mambo haya utukufu wote tunarejesha kwako katika jina la Yesu Kristo verse 5 inasema verse 9 inasema kwamba mabuduni bwana kwa uzuri wa utakatifu tetemekeni mbele zake haleluya sasa ukisikia ikisema kwamba we tremble before him ni kumaanisha ya kwamba hatuwezi simama mbele zake kama vile huwa tunasimama na wanadamu wenzetu it is not even like standing before mfalme wa taifa he is the king of kings we are, we are going to stand in honor in reverence before him as we give him praise as we thank him tumwambie bwana ya kwamba kwa hakika haya mambo tukitazama tukiona jinsi ambavyo umeyatenda huja tusahau mungu huja enenda mbali nasi you have been there for us tumeita jina lako tumeona ukisimama nasi tumekutazama umetutazama kuta ambazo zilisimama mbele zetu uliziangusha falme ambazo zilisimama mbele zetu umeziangusha kwa hakika unastahili kusifiwa in the name of Jesus Christ he is the great god worthy to be praised worthy to be celebrated Amen. Hallelujah. That was just a psalm ambayo itaweza kutuongoza as we continue honoring him in praises and in thanksgiving. Na tafadhali ukubarishe moyo wako. Ukitoka hapa we don't have a lot of time. Usikie ya kwamba umempa Bwana sadaka ya sifa na shukrani. In the name of Jesus Christ. And expect that when you do that he is going to do something that you are expecting from him he is going to intervene in the name of Jesus Christ we are going to thank him because of everything that pertains our lives in Jesus name yes Jesus we are going to say thank you to you Lord yes Lord As we continue approaching the throne of mercy we are approaching in thanksgiving our lord for you have been faithful in reverence oh lord i appear before you in honor my god i'm here to praise you Moyo wangu hauwezi kukusifu kwa kabisa bali Bwana ibada hii ukaweza kuipokea kutoka moyoni mwangu najua ya kwamba hata dini elfu na maelfu zaweza kosha mfalme kutosheleza moyo wako lakini Bwana moyo wangu unakupa sifa Ninapoimba heshima na sifa na utukufu ni kwako wacha Bwana zikakubalika mbele zako in the mighty name of Jesus wewe ambao umekuwa mwema Bwana wewe ambao umekuwa mwaminifu hata sasa Bwana wewe Bwana hujapungukiwa ndio maana nitasimama mbele zako kwa ibada ya sifa na shukrani Yes Lord My God you worthy I bless you Lord She has so near See 
Celebrate the Lord in a better way. Amen. Celebrate the Lord in a better way. Yes, he does. Lord, you. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be honored. To be praised. Oh. To 
kusifu, tuwa kusifu, tuwa kusifu mungu mwenye nguvu. Hauna mwanzo, wala mwisho, mungu wetu sifiwe.